Hey guys, this is Dave from Crux Motorsports. We're going to be showing you how to install the window chrome strip delete. This is a pre-cut kit available in an air release film so you're not going to get any bubbles. And this is available in a variety of colors. We're going to be showing you the sand black today. First you're going to want to start by cleaning the surface and around the area that you're going to be working with. You're going to want to line the bottom. You would be able to slip it just a little under that black trim piece here. Once you get the bottom line, you're going to start by working your way up the window. Aligning it at the bottom of the window, right here. Once you have it tacked down, you want to just work this air out behind the film. Just use your finger. Just work the film all the way up till about the point where it starts to curve over. Also make sure you get the rest of the center section worked down to the bottom. Now you're going to want to make sure this bottom lip is tucked under. Next we're going to hit this with a little bit of heat. You just want to make sure you have the film fully um, stuck down in all the spots. 
Just work the upper edge with that heat gun and just pressing in all the way down. We're gonna move on to the, uh, the other two door windows. Next you wanna get your passenger rear door strip. This is smaller of the two remaining strips. Start by lining this side. And again, same thing on this one, you're gonna to wanna to line it up at the bottom. One problem area is this little lip sometimes comes up, so just tuck that under. You can't get it right off the bat. We'll come back to that and I'll show you how to do that. Again, on this side, you've got little weather shipping that will stick up sometimes. So once you have the center section tucked down, just go back over it. Just rolling up towards the top. And we're going to do the same thing towards the bottom. So now that you have that done, you have this little weather stripping to contend with. You come in from this side, you can pull that down and just sort of use your thumb to press that film under there. You could also run the squeegee all the way up to make sure you're under that lip. Heat. Start to see the film curl a little bit at the top. You're going to want to just roll the film back behind the door molding. So now that this door's done, we'll go on to the front door. So your front door is going to be applied in the same fashion that the rear door was. Just basically lining at the bottom, you still have that little rubber weather stripping to contend with there. Start at the rear of the door, align the end of the film. And just keep it aligned at the bottom. You can leave the film on the strip if you want. Um, like on the backing paper. What I'm doing here, you can pick up some dirt along the way. Probably not the best way of doing it, but if your car is clean, you won't have an issue. So you want to continue just to line at the bottom, leaving just a touch of overhang.
So once you get that placed where you want it, you're gonna go back and just work down the center section again, pressing it down firmly and get the material to seat. Also, we have the same issue here with that weather stripping. So if you get a squeegee, you get it underneath there. Get that just tucked right in. And again, you could run the squeegee down the top so it's underneath this uh, weather stripping. If you want, you can pull that weather strip that's on the door out so you can really work around the corner. Pull that weather stripping out, you gotta, you gotta put it back in. Um, let's put it back in, you sort of seat it in the bottom and sort of tuck the top under. It is sometimes a little temperamental to get it to stick right the first time. So again, this is the sand black finish in the air release. This is available on our website if you check out the description below. We'll link you right there. It's pretty straightforward to install. The air release definitely helps on this installation. We're going to be coming out with a little bit cheaper product that is just a sand black vinyl. You could develop bubbles when you apply that one, but if you're looking for an, a little bit cheaper option, that would definitely be something to check out. I'll also link that in the description below. If you have any questions, 
Use our contact page on our website. We try to respond as fast as possible. Again, this is a satin black Chrome Delete kit for the 2018-2019 Honda Accord.